<laughs> What's up guys? It's me again, Paul C. Hope you're doing really well. Right, okay, today this video is going to be repairs. I don't know if you've seen my last video. If not, link down in the description below. We've done some bashing, me and my cousin Simon. He's over there. Oh, hello. There he is. <laughs> so we're just going to jump to the workshop, do a few repairs. Only a couple. Maybe one. Maybe none. I don't know. <laughs> Let's just see how it goes. And then we're going to go out again in the rain and have a little bit of fun. I should clean it first, really, but we don't worry about things like that. Okay guys, so this sway bar on the back, that's broken, just down there it snapped. I can't get this part for two or three days, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take that off. I've got one on the other side, it will be a little bit unstable to the one side, but still usable. And then you can see the grub screw, well on the prop shaft there should be a dog bone, is that what they call it? Yeah. A dog bone it's like a pin that holds the prop into the coupler and this explains why I've only got rear wheel drive so we've got to start off by taking this top plate off that the ESC sits on and I think there's approximately six screws holding that on and then we've got to take off the gear casing so we'll crack on with that Just a tip guys, don't do what I do and just let your screws drop everywhere. <laughs> just get yourself a pop. Chuck them in there. So if you don't want to use a part, make your life easier and leave the screws in the part. Just leave them in a couple of turns. Right, okay, so now we have that top plate off. It's now time. To take off the motor gear housing. That's approximately five screws. Okay, we've got that out. Now it's time to just pop that prop out. Should be like that. So that pin is held in with pressure on the metal. Now I'm going to try and get a new pin in. I've got a selection here of three. I'm going to find out which one fits best and try and get it pressured in there a little bit. So that's the size of the one that has come out, and that is the size of the one that I'm going to put in. I'm going to try and squeeze it in there, I won't show you that bit because there might be some finger bashing, little bit of cussing, so I'll see you in a minute. Okay guys, that was successful, so here's the original side. There's that pin that comes standard in the prop. There's the one I've put in. And I've hammered it down to repress it in there and it's not going anywhere. And it's larger, so it's going to be a lot better. And I think eventually if this side goes, I'll do the same. So we're going to throw all that back in. Done. So there's the coupler that that this is going into that where there where the pin was there's a bit of play so I've got a spare one of these I'm going to replace this as well while I'm here so I know that that is going to be fine So 
this is what I was saying you can see a little bit of damage just in there that's what it's all like yeah. so I'm just going to go ahead and throw this new coupler in you try to save as many of these grub screws as you can they always seem to work loose um, I think the next time I have this out I'll put some lock tight in there and put back your new modified prop And go and put your motor gearing casing back on. Just be careful when you do, because inside here we've got to put a screw in here where the wires come out of the receiver. So just be careful of these wires when you're screwing down that case, so you don't squish them. You could use a small electric screwdriver, but when I'm screwing into plastic, I really don't like the thought of it. Or I don't trust myself. <laughs> Just make sure that the grub screw the other side of the prop is nice and tight as well. Would you grab me that control closest to you, please? Closest, yeah? Yeah. Good, no, very good. Switch on. Yeah, yeah, come on. Drive forward. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Give it some money. Right, yeah. Done. Turn it off, yeah. Thank you. Oh, that's good. And get the top plate on. I think we should do a challenge. Oh, what? I don't know. Try and not crash the vehicles. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. That's a good one, actually. Yeah. Try and come back in one piece for a challenge. Yeah. Yeah, I'm down with that. <laughs> right, so that's that done, guys. Got it all in there. Prop sorted. Now, all we're going to do is quickly take this rear sway bar off. Done. <laughs> you wouldn't be able to do that with aluminium. Yeah, the new ones I've got coming, they're going to be aluminium. Right, okay, guys, so I'm just going to give it a scrub down. You don't need to see that. And then we're going to head out. <laughs>